Hello everyone, Ladislas Morris from TheWanderingInvestor.com. So today I'm in Panama City together with Giovanna and Weeman, and we'll be discussing how to buy a gun in Panama and the gun laws in Panama. So it's a bit of a different topic, but many people who move to Panama have this question, and the two of you are gun enthusiasts, right? That's correct. We yeah. actually practice gun shooting. There's a range in Panama where you can go once you have your license or like you can also rent from these guys. They offer great service and we have been using them for gun acquisition. So I know that citizens of Panama can own guns here in Panama, but what about foreign residents? For foreigners, you need to have a permanent residency. The fastest way to get permanent residency will be the Qualified Investor Visa. Uh, when you come one time to Panama and then you, there's a 30 days process and you can get immediately the permanent residency. And then the gun. And then you can purchase the gun. That's okay, correct. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so I went a different route. I went the route of the Friendly Nations visa, which is more affordable. So I'm going to be a temporary resident for about two, two and a half years. Can I get a gun with my temporary residency? Uh, no, for now you cannot get that gun with the temporary residency. You will need to wait until you get the permanent residency, then you can uh, buy the gun and these guys will help you with the, all the paperwork for the purchase. So Giovanna and Weeman have helped me obtain residency here in Panama. They helped me open a local corporation, open a personal bank account, a corporate bank account. So there are more details on all these services, how to obtain residency in Panama. And now we're going to go into the shop, we're going to meet the shop owner and we'll be discussing uh, the types of guns that one can buy here, the prices and the whole process to get a permit, which is really not that complicated. So let's go. Uh, Jose, how are you? I'm fine, fine. How are you? Good. Cool. So let's do a little bit of a case study here. Okay. Let's say I come to your shop. I am a new permanent resident. I have the proper Panamanian ID okay. and I tell you, Jose, I want to buy a gun. How does it work? Okay, yeah, thanks for coming here. The first step is purchasing the firearm. That's the first step in order to start the process of the license. Okay, so I don't need a license before purchasing the firearm. You don't need a it's license the other because way it's a parallel process that we're going to do when you purchase the firearm, okay? Uh, you, you purchase a firearm and then we're going to ask you the following. We, you will have to comply with Panamanian laws. So let's say I want to buy this block. Okay. I buy this block, I give you the money, and then what happens? Okay. Uh, you have to pay for the firearm and also the license or the process of the license. How much does this uh, cost? 500 bucks. Per gun or just to have a license overall? Uh, no, just for have a license. Okay. You have a license and then you can add firearms to the existing license. Okay. The cost is, is real cheap. Okay. Real cheap, you don't have to go to follow the, the process again. Okay. You just need to make an inclusion in your existing license. And how long is the license valid for? The license valid, the, that depends. If it's the tenant license, uh, the, it's valid for 10 years. Uh -huh. And the concealed carry license is valid for 4 years. Okay, we'll, we'll go into the we'll two different... We'll go into the two different licenses. Okay. okay. Uh, you asked me first, uh, what's the process for the license? You have to comply with Panamanian laws. They are very simple. You have to uh, complete the psychological test. Okay. You have to complete the drug test. There's marijuana and cocaine. It's okay. simple. You go to a lab. You pee in a bottle, and that's it. Okay. You have to go with. So a... be careful, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Okay. You have to to take a, take a training with an instructor certificate to instructor from the authorities. How, how long is that training? Uh, two hours. It's, two a, it's, hours. it's, it's a basic training okay. to handle the farm safely. What if people don't speak Spanish? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Don't cool. speak English. Well, uh, at least our instructor speaks English. Okay. I, mean, okay. I can speak for the rest, but our instructor speaks English. And then you have to pay the fees of the license the tenant license is uh, 50 bucks per 10 years, and the concealed carry license is is 100 bucks for four years. Okay. Uh, and three photo IDs and your Panamanian ID. How long does this process take? Uh, that depends. That depends. It's out of our control. Okay. Once we introduce the paperwork to the authorities, yeah, it can take uh, from 90 
to 120 days, three okay. to four months. Okay, and then I can, I can just, so you keep the gun in the meantime? No, the authorities give you the gun. At the moment you're going to, uh, to, to pick up your license, they give you the firearm. And if I already have a license and I want to buy a second gun? Okay, you have to make an inclusion. Okay. The cost is 11 bucks. Okay. You have okay. to pay a fee for an inclusion, complete the paperwork, only the paperwork, not the whole process of, of drug tests, uh, psychological exam. No, only complete the, the form, add the copies of your license, yeah. of your actual license, Panama, the, the copy of your ID, yeah. and that's it. And how long does this At take? the same time, same time, 90 to 120 days. Okay, so you can't just like, come here, I want to go now. No, I'm going to say, okay, yeah, okay. Take, it, take it with you. No, it's, it's not that simple. Okay. It's not that simple. Okay, so there, there are measures. Yes, there are measures. So can you tell us about the two different types of licenses? Okay. Or permits? The, 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 we have two, two, kind, two type of licenses. The tenant license is the one that gonna allows you to have a firearm. Only to have a farm. Okay, where? In your house. Or transport the farm from point A to point B. Okay. For example, your house, the ranch. Okay. Your house, your house at the beach. Okay. Or maybe your farm outside the country. Okay. Separate from the, from the ammunition. You okay. cannot have it loaded uh -huh. in the same place. You, you, have, you, 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 you can have it separate one from you. Okay, so gun in the trunk, ammo at the back of the car. No, the, uh, rifle at the trunk, ammunition in a separate bag, in a separate bag at the trunk. Okay, so separate. 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 Okay, so I need to register my address where the, the gun is? Yes, you have to register your ad the address where the guns are going to be, are going to reside. And I, can I have a few addresses? Let's say I have a farm and I have yes. an apartment here in the city. Yes, of course. You can have multiple addresses. Okay, so there's no real limit? Yes, no real Well, uh, three or four addresses. Okay. Are there a lot of spot checks by the government to, to come and see if you're complying, etc.? Well, not that I know. Okay. Not that I know, but it's something that can happen okay. sure. at any time. What about the... Uh, the other type of permit, if I want to carry. Okay, that's the concealed carry license. You can you can have a firearm with you, but concealed. Mm -hmm. Concealed carry, you can. We we are not allowed to be open carry. Mm -hmm. Only the only the police and and law enforcement can have it open carry. Civilians concealed carry. Well, so again, I'm here. I just got my permanent residency and ID. I get the first the, the tenant yes. uh, permit, I obtain it, I get my Glock, and then I come back to you, Jose, and I'm like, oh, I want to carry, um, how does this work? Well, Can basically, we do it? basically, we do that at the same time. Okay. Only You only uh, request the tenant license if you're purchasing a rifle or a shotgun. Okay. If you're planning to, well, you can do it with revolvers and pistols. Okay. But in, in, in order to avoid that situation that you pay for something first and then you want another thing, we request everything at the same time. Is it a lot more expensive to get the concealed carry? Okay, it's, the cost is 500 bucks, includes everything. If you want only tenant license, the cost could be 400 bucks. Okay. And the difference is the cost of the license. And there's no, so there's, there are no restrictions, uh, for example, that I must have a reason to be able to have concealed carry that I need to work on a farm or I must have some true security concerns, no. anyone can just apply anyone for that? Anyone can just apply. Okay. If you comply with the requirements of the law, yeah. everything's okay. Okay. So, do a lot of people carry guns in Panama and just concealed carry? Is it common or not really? Not culturally. Okay, culturally it's not common. We're, we're trying to, to start going into that direction because it's something wrong. You want to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. You want to protect yourself from uh, the bad guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about defend yourself mm -hmm. because you're not you're not uh, the street walking mm -hmm. defensively. No, if something happens, you have something to protect, mm -hmm. protect you, your family, mm -hmm. and your property. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people that I know carry firearms. Okay, cool. So I think this is quite interesting in the sense that there aren't many countries in the world where 
as a foreigner, you can get concealed carry relatively quickly. So all you need to do at this stage is um, you hire these two people, you make the required investment. So right now it's like about three hundred thousand dollars in uh, in real estate. That gets you permanent residency in one trip in Panama um, within thirty days for you and your whole family. Then you take the paperwork, you go to Jose, and essentially 90 days to 120 days later, um, you can actually walk around the country with a, with a gun, which is concealed, which is pretty unique. There aren't many countries in the world that, that offer this sort of setup. So from a personal freedom point of view, for people that are into this, this is great. For people that don't like this, don't worry about it. Panama is absolutely not dangerous. Um, it, it's not a, a need, really, but it's a very nice to have as part of the, the toolbox of advantages of living in Panama. So, Jose, what about prices? So, what is your top seller here amongst the pistols? Well, the top sellers, I'm going to speak about the, at least three or four firearms that I have yeah. here. Top sellers, I'm going from the cheapest. Okay. And can you give a so your rough price and then roughly what people would pay in the US? Okay, cool, cool. Doesn't matter. Don't worry. As an example, I have the Taurus G3C. It's a semi automatic pistol, holds 12 rounds. The cost of this firearm in Panama is $856. Okay. Plus the paper for okay. the license. Uh, in the US, that firearm, uh, the price is maybe 400, 350 bucks. Okay, so 2X, roughly 2X the price yes. in terms of import duties, yes. taxes, etc. And if you import them, if you import your own guns from the US, you would essentially have to pay these taxes as well, so yeah. But to import a fire from the US yeah. or from another country is, it's not impossible. Yeah. You can do it, but it has a cost, it's an example. We have to request a license for the specific firearms you have. Mm -hmm. You have to move that that firearm for for, for you know uh, you have to move it from your place to our distributor in the U.S. Oh wow! Okay. So he can send the firearms here to Panama. Do, do you offer this service? Yes, we offer this service. Okay, cool. cool. That's interesting. So it's up to you if you really love your firearms. Um, you can import them. Or, you know, sometimes it's just simpler to just sell them and buy new ones here. Yeah, yeah. Is there a market for secondary, for second market guns as well? Uh, yes, yeah, but not right now. Maybe two or two, three years ago. Yeah. Because we have a restriction, import, import restriction of firearms. Ah. So the market was uh, full of second hand firearms. Oh, okay. And now? And like now, now, and now it goes down. Okay. Because the prices of the farm goes down. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, good. Cool. Okay, talking about prices and different firearms, we also have the Glock 19. Uh -huh. Glock 19, the cost is uh, 1450 bucks. Mm -hmm. You can have it in the US by at least 750 800 bucks. Okay. Cool. Also, ZZ P10C, mm -hmm. $1,177. From which country is this? This is uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Yes, yes, Czech Republic. Republic. They are excellent farms and six hour, one thousand six hundred and five bucks. And this including is taxes. Austrian. Uh, is it, okay, it's Germany. Okay. But the farm is produced in the U.S. Oh, producing in the U.S. Okay, cool. interesting. How about the? Let's talk about the shotguns and the rifles. So those are your top sellers, right? Yes, the top sellers that I have right now is the Ruger 5.56. Mm -hmm. It's a semi-automatic rifle. Mm -hmm. Semi-automatic rifle. It's completely legal in Panama. Nice. It has to be semi-auto. Full auto is illegal in Panama. Okay. Important. Only law enforcement. Okay. okay. It's a, a Ruger 5.56. The price uh, 2,500 bucks mm -hmm. and shotguns like the Maverick 88 okay. that's the most common firearm it's a pump yeah. action uh, shotgun nice. the cost would be 749 bucks okay. and 
In the US, 250, 400 bucks. So typical 2X. Yes. Are, is ammo also 2X versus the US? Uh, well, depends the brand, but some, well, right now, the prices are very equal. Okay. That's a very equal, depends on the ammunition. So for the for the Glock, how much would it be for one round? Uh, well, for a, a box of uh, fifty rounds, yeah, twenty-two fifty. Okay. Oh, so fifty cents, uh, fifty yeah. cents a shot. Okay. Cool. All right, fantastic. I think this is really interesting. So yeah, because a lot of people have these questions. Uh, we men, you typically because you have you help a lot of people with immigration here. Uh, typically, where are the people from that have these questions in terms of guns? Well, most of them they are from uh, Canada, US, uh, also Australia. Okay. Because they, uh, some of their country, they have this kind of activity of this kind of sport, and when they want to, when they are planning to move to Panama, they are looking for this same uh, activity to practice. Yeah. And I think it's one of the big advantages of Panama as a destination versus other destinations. It's relatively easy to, for people who like guns to obtain guns here legally. So uh, this is a big plus. Like Mexico, for example, it's very easy to buy a gun, but it's just illegal. <laughs> so at least here in Panama, you can do everything legally. Great, so if you're interested in obtaining residency here in Panama, there's a link below with a lot more information. There are many ways to obtain residency here in Panama, through company formation, through investing in real estate, through term deposits in banks, if you're retired, etc. So many options. There's also WeMens and Giovanna's email below so you can get in touch with them directly if you're interested. Great, fantastic. WeMen, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jose, <coughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for the time. Make sure to download my free ebook, 12 Mistakes to Avoid When Investing in International Real Estate, which you can find on my website, link below, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at The Wandering Investor. I look forward to hearing from you.